Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 version 25H2. A clean installation means erasing everything on the hard drive and setting up a fresh copy of the operating system. So if you have anything important on the computer, now is the time to create a backup. If Windows 11 or Windows 10 has been properly activated on the previous setup, the computer will reactivate automatically after the installation when the device actually connects to the internet. Now, if you are setting up a new computer that never had an operating system installed, then you will need to provide a proto key to activate the installation. You can do it during the setup or after. Always check the video description to find a link to get more details about this entire process. Okay, let's dive in. So I am going to show you the official process. So I will be using the media creation tool to create the installation media. And to do that, you need to open your web browser and just go to this page, then scroll down and under create Windows 11 installation media, click the download button. Save that file to your computer and open the saved location. Now you will need a USB flash drive of at least eight gigabytes of storage, but I do recommend if you have a 16 gigabytes, that will be a better option. So now we just need to double click to run the media creation tool. We're going to accept the terms. Usually you want to use the default settings for your language and edition. However, if you need to change the language of, of the installation, just clear this option and select the language. For editions, you can only choose Windows 11, then click next. So in here, we're going to select the USB flash drive option and then click next. Now, at this time, you should already have connected the USB flash drive on the computer. So the tool detects it. And if you don't see it, just click the refresh drive list option and make sure to select the correct drive that you want to use for this process because everything on that drive is going to be erased too. So if you have any files, it's also a good idea to back them up right now and then just click next. Now the media creation tool is going to download the files for version 25H2 and is going to create the USB bootable media. This might take some time depending on the internet connection. Once you have the installation media created, you need to take that USB and you need to connect it to the computer that you want to perform the clean installation. Now, you also have to make sure that that computer can boot from the USB drive. Usually during the startup, you will see an option to boot into the UEFI framework or to access the boot menu of the computer. If you can access the boot menu, you can choose the USB drive to start the device. Otherwise, you will have to enter the UEF5 to change the boot order in order for the device to start from the USB flash drive. However, since most devices have different UEF5 designs, you will have to check your manufacturer for more specific details on how to do this. Now, just click the Finish button, connect the USB to the device and start the computer to begin the Windows setup process. Now on the first page, make sure that the language and time and currency settings are correct and then click next. Now, if necessary, change the keyboard layout and then click next. Now in here, select the install Windows 11 option and check this option to confirm that everything on that computer will be erased during the clean installation process and then click next. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if you have a Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation properly activated previously, then the computer will activate automatically. Now, if this is a new installation on a new computer or a new hard drive on a new computer, then you might need to provide the product key. You can do this process later. So right now I'm just going to click on, I don't have a product key option. Now select the edition of Windows 11 that your product key activates and then click next. Now here we're going to accept the terms. And now we need to delete all the partitions, if applicable, on the drive that we want to install Windows 11. Now, if you have multiple hard drives, you only need to delete the partitions on the drive that you want to install Windows 11 version 25H2. Now, select the unallocated space and don't worry because now the setup will create all the necessary partitions to install Windows 11 correctly. Now click next and now click the install button. 
Now, this process is going to take a while and the computer will restart a few times. And now we need to complete the out of box experience. First, choose your region and click yes. Select the keyboard layout and click yes. Unless you need to add a second keyboard layout, just click the skip button. Now in here, you can confirm a name for the computer, which is actually a recommended step. And if you do this, the computer will restart and then it will pick up where you left off. Now for this video, I'm just going to click the skip option. If you're setting up the name, just click the next button. Now, this option is only available on Windows 11 Pro. And in here, we're going to select the setup for personal use and then click next. Now click the sign in button and now confirm your Microsoft account to create your Windows 11 profile and then click next. I'm using the Authenticator app, so I'm going to authenticate with my phone. Now click the create pin button and create a four digit pin. Now click the OK button. Confirm your privacy settings. Now, one more thing that I wanted to point out is that the out of box experience might be a little bit different depending on your location, but the steps are pretty much the same. Now click the Accept button. And on this page, the Windows 11 setup will give you the choice to restore your computer, including folders, apps, settings, and credentials from a previous computer. That is, if you were using a Microsoft account and OneDrive on another computer. Now, since we're setting up a clean installation, I'm going to skip this option by clicking on more options and then clicking the setup as a new PC option. Then click the setup as a new PC option one more time. Now on this page, you can tell the operating system how you plan to use the operating system to get personal tips, advertisement, and other recommendations. You can always skip this option. You can connect your phone to your computer later. So click skip. Click the skip button here. In here, click the not now button. Click the next button. Click the skip button. And that's it. We have completed the clean installation process of Windows 11 version 25H2. And we can check the version by going to start, looking for settings. And then on system, if we open the about page, under Windows specifications, we can see that version is 25H2. Now, at this point, you can restore your files from backup. And it is important that you go to the settings app and then go to Windows Update and then click the check for updates button and download any available updates. You might also want to go to the advanced options page and from here, go to optional updates. And if there are any, drivers that need to be updated on your computer, select them and click the download and install button. Another thing that you want to do is to open device manager and confirm that all the hardware on your computer is installed correctly. Now, if you're using an OEM PC, such as one from Dell, HP, Asus or other, one thing that you want to do is just to go to your manufacturer support website and make sure that you download and install any available updates for drivers and any specific tools that you might like to use on your computer that are available for your specific computer. And that's it. That is how you perform a clean installation of Windows 11 version 25H2 on your computer. Now, make sure to leave your comments, like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.